Okay, my name is Christian Allen. I am 17 years old. I am a senior at Roosevelt High School, and I just made honor roll. I graduated from Hart Middle School and Simon Elementary School, both DCPS schools. After high school, I plan on going to college and majoring in hospitality management. Already, I've been accepted to Bowie State University and Harrisburg University, just to name a few. I've chosen hospitality management as my major because I have a passion for the culinary arts industry and I like to cook. One of, the big, one of the biggest challenges I faced in school when I was younger was being around kids who weren't all that interested in schooling. I was more interested in academics than many of the kids I went to middle school with. That was hard for me because teachers tended to pay more attention to the negative things kids were doing than the positive things. So always hearing the negative things throws your spirits down even though you knew you were doing good. So for high school, I decided to take advantage of my opportunities to go outside of my neighborhood and I chose Roosevelt High School because my counselor recommended it for its outstanding culinary arts program. My first three years there, the program had some difficulties. The food wasn't funded properly there was teacher turnover and a substitute teacher for much, much of a year. It's only been this year, my senior year, that I've been able to be a part of that program. This year, since I've been a part of it, I've enjoyed learning, dis I've enjoyed learning different techniques from an experienced chef. Another big challenge that I've had to overcome in high school is actually getting there. I've always traveled to and from high school on my own on public transportation. For my ninth and most of 10th grade year, I struggled with getting to school. To get to Roosevelt, I have to travel from deep southeast where I live up to northwest Pethworth area, which is quite far. However, that has gotten easier since the school transit subsidy program, which was, it, since the school transit subsidy program was initiated. The school transit subsidy program allows students that attended public, private, or charter in the district to ride free as long as they have a registered DC1 card. In my freshman year, this program only covered Metro bus, so I had to ride for two hours every morning and every evening just to get to and from school because I could not take the train. That means I had to get up at 5 a.m., get myself to the bus, and change buses two or three times to get to school. However, sophomore year, the program extended to cover Metro train as well as the circulator so that allowed me to wake up later and still get to school on time. Overall, the trip, the trip went from two hours to an hour and 15 minutes on a good day. However, traveling so far each day, I've always feared for my safety. Watching the news and seeing teens fight on the trains or bus that were my age made, make me be extra cautious when going to school. Also in high school, I've had trouble entering my community service hours. I believe that in such an electronically dominant time, there should be a more efficient way for students to enter their community service hours electronically. As I got older in high school, I started getting less and less homework because most times the homework is whatever work you didn't finish in class. However, when I do have homework, I spend my time after school with my teachers trying to complete it or sometimes do it during my long bus rides to and from school. The thing I liked most about my K-12 experience is just meeting new people and learning new skills. Going through high school, I've learned more about myself and who I am as a student. For example, I have a tendency to start most of my essays off with a question. I do this because I think questions are a good way to introduce a topic to my reader while also getting them thinking about whatever question I asked. What I don't like about school is the revolving door of teachers. It's been that way in my school since I was a little kid. I think teachers deserve more praise for what students, not me, put them through on a daily basis. Teachers deserve more support from the district than what they get now. What has helped me, through, what has helped me get through my schooling is the commitment that my teachers showed along with the support of multiple DC score staff members. Ms. Ferguson, my seventh and eighth grade English teacher, really sticks out in my mind because she helped me realize my full potential and instilled upon me to always work my hardest to achieve my goals. She made learning English interesting because of the way she taught it. She always made sure we understood the content and she knew when we didn't. 
Being a part of the DC Scores community has also helped me because we because there are so many resources that I can use as far as applying to colleges or helping with resumes. There are so many people that have volunteered to help me throughout my senior year. I started working when I was 14 years old at a DC Scores camp. I had been at DC Scores in middle school. At this camp, I helped young kids learn the basics of soccer while providing a safe space for them to play at during the summer. I started working at this age to pocket some spending money. I've worked at DC Scores summer camps every year since then. I also volunteered DC Scores events throughout the year, and I got a referee certification with the help of Josh Friedholm, a previous DC Scores staff member. I now ref for DC Starter, which is a local youth soccer league and for DC Scores. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on this roundtable and share my story of my time at DCPS.